I'm really excited about uh, the, the future of commercial small UAS. Um, I think that there's a lot of opportunity out there and I think that um, once the, the small UAS commercial market opens up, we'll find um, a ton of uses that people aren't even thinking about right now. So I'm, I'm very excited to see the innovation that comes out of that space. We think UAS have a tremendous role in precision agriculture. Uh, obviously from the sensing side, the sensing and resolution side, looking at crops to determine their health, but also in delivering payloads to the crops. There's a lot of use for uh, fire support, um, as well as a lot of the vegetation studies that we haven't even scratched the surface on as far as what cameras can uh, that we can use at that low, low altitude uh, that will give us incredible information. So any of the, the vegetation uh, and wildlife, we're, we're able to do surveys and see things and species determinations that give us far better counts than we ever could have gotten before. There's no, have never been a method to get the type of data we've been able to acquire as uh, simply and cost effective as an unmanned aircraft. It's real nice how the FAA, Department of Defense, uh, government agencies and, and all users have been thoughtful in introducing them, these systems into the environment. So now it's time for the Imagineers to take over. In the future uh, applications for unmanned systems, we're really interested in some of the new payloads that we're seeing you know, at the AUVSI show and through the industry that will allow us to have small systems that will be, enable us to create high resolution maps of shorelines and even of coral reefs and things below the water, looking at using LIDAR and multispectral imaging, things that you know, used to be large payloads that are getting smaller that allow us to, to go again to more remote places and, and do surveys that we otherwise couldn't have done. I am so excited about the future applications of small and men systems for disaster robotics. We're already using them from structural inspection. We're already using them to try to see where survivors are and if there are any immediate uh, health issues or trapped on their roof. We're already using them for understanding flooding and what's going on with mudslides. I think the future holds so much more.